soft. What light through yonder window breaks? It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knew she were. She speaks, yet she says nothing. What of that? Her eye discourses. I will answer it. I am too bold. Tis not to me she speaks. See how she leans her cheek upon her hand. Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand, that I might touch that cheek. I mean... Oh, she speaks! Oh, speak again, bright angel, for thou art as glorious to this night, being on my screen as is a winged messenger of heaven unto the white, upturned, wandering eyes of mortals that fall back to gaze on him when he bestrides the lazy, pacing clouds and sails upon the bosom of the air. Oh, Romeo. Romeo! Wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. What's Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name! What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other word would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo, doff thy name, and for thy name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. What man art thou that thus bescreened in night so stumblest on my counsel? Uh, by a name, I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to me, for it is an enemy to thee. If I had it written, I would tear the word. My ears have not yet drunk a hundred words of that tongue's utterance, yet I know the sound. Art thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither, fair maid, if either thee dislike. How camest thou hither? Tell me, and wherefore? The fire walls are strict and hard to hack. And the place death, considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. With love's light wings did I o'erperch these walls. For coded limits cannot hold love out, and that which love can do, that dares love attempt. Therefore thy kinsmen are no let to me. Thou knowst the mask of night is on my face. Else would a maiden blush bepaint my cheek for that which thou hast heard me speak tonight. Fain would I dwell on form. Fain. Fain deny what I have spoke, but farewell compliment. If thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. Or if thou thinkst I am too quickly won, I'll frown and be perverse and say thee nay, so thou wilt woo. But else, not for the world. In truth, fair Montague, I am too fond, and therefore thou mayst think my behavior light, but trust me, gentlemen. I'll prove more true than those that have more cunning to be strange. I should have been more strange, I must confess. But that thou overhurtst, ere I was where, my true love's passion. Therefore, pardon me, and not impute this yielding to light love, which the dark night hath so discovered. Lady, by yonder blessed moon, I swear, that tips with silver all these fruit tree tops. I am not by the moon. The inconstant moon that monthly changes in her circled orb, lest thy love prove likewise variable. What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all. I have no joy in this contract tonight. It is too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, too like the lightning which doth cease to be ere one can say it lightens. 
Sweet. Good night. This bud of love by summer's ripening breath may prove a beauteous flower when next we meet. Wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it. I hear some noise within. Dear love, adieu. Anon, good nurse. Sweet Montague, be true. Stay but a little, I will come again. <laughs> oh, blessed, blessed night. I am afeard being in night, all this is but a dream, too flattering sweet to be substantial. Three words, dear Romeo, and good night indeed. If that thy bent of love be honorable, thy purpose marriage, send me word tomorrow by one that I'll procure to come to thee. Where and what time thou wilt perform the rite, and all my fortunes at thy foot I'll lay, and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. I come anon! If that thou means not well, I do beseech thee, by and by I come! to cease thy suit and leave me to my grief. Tomorrow I will send. So thrive my soul. A thousand times good night. A thousand times the worse to want thy light. Sleep dwell in thine eyes, peace in thy breast. Would I were sleep and peace so sweet to rest. <laughs>